आत्म संप्रोक्त जीव आख्यात मुच्यते प्रकृति कृष बंतादीर धातु ब्रह्मात्मने नम नारायण परो व्यक्ता दंडम अव्यक्त संभवम अंडस्यांत मे लोका सप्त द्वीपाच मे दिनी सो एनी क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम लास्ट टाइम in the introduction i'm running forth okay so i have added uh, okay there is some question <clears throat> yes bhavya hello yeah uh so the last sentence that we did tasya asya geeta shastrasya sankshepta yeah. prayojanam param nishreyasam sahetukasya samsarasya अत्यंत उपरम लक्षण सो आई डिड नॉट अंडरस्टैंड वेयर दिस एडवर्ब ब्रीफली संक्षेपत गोस संक्षेपत प्रयोजन एडवर्ब इज एन एडजेक्टिव टू दर्ब राइट सो इट विल ऑलवेज गो विद दर्ब वॉट इज दर्ब हियर वॉट इज दर्ब इन देंटेंस Oh, it's not there. So we have to take the word from the previous any, sentence. Any, so nishre sam. Bhavari, bhavati. See, Gita sha sankshep verb or verb equivalent. Hmm. Sankshepata bhavati cannot be. If I supply bhavati here, I have supplied bhavati hmm. for this. So the sentence reads well. Otherwise, I hmm. don't need bhavati. So what hmm. is the verb equivalent? Any krit kritya ha or krit pratya. So sankshepata prayojanam. Prayojanam. Hmm. Prayojanam is uh, it's a purpose. What is hmm. the brief purpose? So, sankshepata uh, there. It's a b- brief purpose. You can uh, hmm. uh, or briefly, what can be mentioned as a purpose? So, you have to hmm. add some words to understand. When you say hmm. that, uh, can you tell me briefly what is the purpose? So, the purpose hmm. briefly is this. That's how it will be. Hmm. So, briefly, this is the purpose. So, how how would you like to arrange the words and see how it goes uh, and hmm. uh, what it goes with? That is up to you. गीताशास्त्र संक्षेपत प्रयोजन सो दी पर्पस इफ यू लुक एट इट देर मे बी मेनी पर्पसेस बट इन दी एंड वॉट इज दी मेन पर्पस दैट कैन बी स्टेटेड इन फ्यू वर्ड्स सो यू यू बी ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन इन दी बिगिनिंग एंड देन यू एलॉबरेटेड एंड देन यू समराइज इट सो देर फॉर प्रयोजन वॉट इज दी प्रयोजन इफ ओ देर आर मेनी पर्पसेस पीपल से दैट आई मीन गीता यू कैन कैन बी इंटरप्रिटेड इन मेनी वेज इट हैज मेनी पर्पसेस but briefly can you tell me what it is so the sankshepata prayojana is moksha finally it is moksha hmm. so that's why sankshepata prayojana moksha eva bhavati in hmm. so you can say sankshepata briefly or in brief in brief what is the purpose so that's how you construct the sentence okay okay, okay. thank you hmm. anyone else so uh, we saw that tasya asya geeta shastra se i just added uh, some places i have added there may be some confusion uh, so i have added some uh, pratyas or uh, vigraha vakyas for samasas so tasya asya geeta shastra se geeta iti shastram geeta shastram sankshepata sankshe plus tasil or tasi uh, both have tas as the uh, as the content and it is 0 3 when i write 0 3 it 0 means an avyaya 3 means in the third case meaning and generally in the third case meaning generally we see adverbs uh, when they are avyayas so sankshepata prayojanam param nishreyasam bhavati and what is that gita shastrasya uh, prayojanam so uh, if you make an uh, anvaya so before that uh, uh, other vigraha vakyas nishreyasam nishreyasam nishreyas Uh, is the pratipadika it is neuter so uh, nischitam ni is the meaning of ni is nischitam here when you expand it the meaning nischitam shreya shreya is not pullinga by the way it is neuter shreyas pratipadika and at the end of the pada when uh, it becomes visarga when followed by whatever sh- uh, sandhi happens nischitam shreya so nischitam shreya if you say uh, shreya is the highest good nischitam shreya highest good is moksha or you say uh, not moksha but you say that this is jnanam 
So nishchitam shreyo yasmat va. So why I have given so that uh, you can take either way you can take the vigraha. In this manner nishchitam shreyo would be karma dharya. So that will mean uh, the nishchitam shreya would mean moksha itself. And karana for moksha is jnana. If you take that meaning as jnana, then nishchitam shreya yasmat jnana. Tad jnana nishchita shreyasam. So it will nishchita shreya shreya and then tam nishchita shreyasam. So this will be, in second case, it will be tam. Uh, actually, tad jnanam. So, okay, in first case, it will be tad jnanam. Uh, nishreyasam. So, nishreyaha. Nish, uh, just a second. Uh, this will be, so it has to be second case here. Tasya uh, gita shastra samshepata prayojanam param nishreyasam. Just let me, I thought it is nishreyasam. Nishreyasam would be has to be second case as far as I read, Nishreyasa. So in that case, what it would, would be? Uh, nishreyasa. Nishreyasa would be the Nishreyasa. So it is Nishreyas. Uh, Shreyas and Nishreyasam would be Kleba. It will be neuter Nishreyasam only, not Nishreyasa. Uh, Just a second. Let me see what is the Pratya here. There is some other pratya near nishchitam shreyaha. Okay, no, it's, it's right. So, nishchitam shreya only. Yeah. Yes, maat. Okay. Nishreyasa. So, yes, maat. So, nish, uh, that is nishreyasam. In uh, nishreyasa and then nishreyasa, uh, in neuter it will decline like nishreyasam. Because, uh, Shastram, Gita Shastra uh, Prayojanam is said, Prayojanam. So, Prayojanam is neuter, thereby Nishreyasam is neuter. And what is that Prayojanam? So, Prayojanam is said to be Atyanta Uparama Lakshanam Prayojanam. Sahetu Kasya Samsarasya Atyanta Uparama Lakshanam. So, Atyanta Uparama cessation, Lakshana Yasya, character, that is the characteristic for which, for which Nishreyasa, Nishreyasa, Nishreyasasya, Nishreyasa th that. So Nishreyasa that will be what? Uh, tat. <coughs> I'm sorry. And Sahetuka is Bhauri Saha. So Hetuna Savarta Titi Sahetukaha, which is Samsara. Samsara along with its cause. So Atyanta Upraksha Prayojana is. Uh, Complete cessation, uh, prayojana is moksha or jnana, which is characterized by complete cessation of samsara along with its cause. So the anvaya would be tasya asya gita shastra asya samshepata prayojanam. What is it? Sahetukasya is equal to, so prayojanam is equal to, sahetukasya samsarasya atyanta uparam lakshanam param shreyasam, param nishreyasam bhavati. Shreyasam, nishreyasam, same meaning. Further, uh, this font is a little tricky here. Tachya, Tachya, Sarva Karma Sanyasa Purva Kath, Purva Kath, Atma Jnana Nishta Rupa Dharma Bhavati. And what is this? Tachya is what? Tachya Nishreyasam. That moksha, how is that moksha going to take place? Dharmat Bhavati. It is from Dharma. From Dharma. What kind of Dharma? So Nishreyasam. Tatcha Nishreyasam. That is Nishre. That. Tatcha Nishreyasam. Which is what? Moksha or Jnana. Sarva Karma Sanyasat. Sanyasa Purvakat. Again you see, you know the word <coughs> Purva. What is Ka? Here is Ka Pratya. So it indicates, it hints for, hints a Bahuri. So Dharmat Bhavati. From Dharma, that Jnana takes place through Dharma. Due to Dharma. What kind of Dharma? Dharma which is, which is 
सो इसी पंचमी हर धर्मात धर्मात बहुत ही व्हाट कैंड धर्मा आत्म ज्ञान निष्ठा आत्म ज्ञान सो आत्मा एंड ज्ञान समासा विल बिकम आत्म ज्ञान आकारा बहुत अभी सो आत्म ज्ञान निष्ठा रूप सो दिस दिस इस आत्मन एक्चुअली आत्मन प्राते आ बहुत अभी एक्चुअली नकारा बहुत अभी इट डिक्लाइंस एस आत्मा सो आत्मन इज रूप रूपात रूप इज द फाइनल वर्ड सो देयर आर फोर वर्ड्स आत्मन ज्ञान निष्ठा एंड रूप एंड दिस इज इन समानादिकरणम विद धर्म इज धर्म रूप सो धर्म इज नॉट रूप देयरफॉर दिस इज बहुरी सो रूप इज स्वरूप सो व्हाट काइंड ऑफ बहुरी वुड दिस बी नाउ बहुरी सो रूप so dharma is that which has some kind of rupa so rupa so you can write six here so shashti sambandha is there something rupa is equal to swarupa yasya dharmasya saha dharma uh, atma jnana nishtha rupa so what is the connection between nishtha and rupa jnana and nishtha atma and jnana so you can start analysis analysis now nishtha निष्ठा इज रूप निष्ठा निष्ठा एबाइडेंस सो इन दी फॉर्म ऑफ एबाइडेंस दैट धर्म विच हैज दी फॉर्म ऑफ एबाइडेंस एबाइडेंस इज सो निष्ठा इज एबाइडेंस एबाइडेंस इन वॉट सो देर फोर बिटवीन ज्ञान एंड निष्ठा देर इज सप्तमी संबंध सो आई कैन राइट सप्तमी हियर देन सो ज्ञाने निष्ठा रूप है यस्य सो रूप विल बी इन प्रथमा देवरफॉर सेवेन वन सिक्स बिटवीन रूपा एंड धर्मा देर इस शक्ती रूपा इस विल बी इन प्रथमा विभक्ति बिटवीन ज्ञान एंड निष्ठा देर इस ज्ञाने निष्ठा अंतुद ज्ञाना देर इस निष्ठा देवरफॉर सप्तमी हियर एंड बिटवीन आत्मा एंड ज्ञाना व्हाट इस Knowledge of Atma. Knowledge of Atma is their Shakti is Karmani Shakti. So you will get Atmanah Jnanam. So this will be what if you make one Vigra Vakya it will be Atmani Atmani Atmanah Jnane Nishtha Rupaha Yasya Yasya Dharmasya Or you can say Atma Atmanah Jnanam Atma Jnanam Shakti Tat Purusha Then आत्म ज्ञाने निष्ठा आत्म ज्ञान निष्ठा सप्तमी तत्पुरुषा दिन आत्म ज्ञान निष्ठा आत्म ज्ञान निष्ठा रूप हा यस्य धर्मस्य सह धर्मा आत्म ज्ञान निष्ठा रूप एंड तस्मात आत्म ज्ञान निष्ठा रूप आत सो दैट मोक्षा सो एंड इन इन कंटिन्यूशन एंड विद योर अर्लीर सेंटेंस एंड दैट आत्म ज्ञान निष्ठा uh, that moksha which is said as this prayojanam that nishreyasa param atyanto uh, at, this is not atyata atyanta so atyanta atyanto param lakshanam atyanto param lakshanam param nishreyasa how that how does that take place that take place takes place through dharma that dharma which is in the form of or which is which has the characteristics, has the characteristic of abidance in uh, knowledge of Atma. And how, how does that take place, Dharma? How, through that, that Dharma is itself, earlier it was said, Dharmas are of two types. One, so, Dvidha, uh, Dharma, Dvidha, what kind of Dharma? One is Pravritti Lakshana, other is Nivritti Lakshana. And this Atma Jnana Nishtha Rupa Dharma, that is Nivritti Lakshana. Because in pravritti you cannot have atma jnana nishtha, not possible. Pravritti is outward karma. So this is sannyasa. So this has to be sannyasa. Atma jnana nishtha is possible only when one is not involved in karma. You can't be doing uh, all sorts of karma and say that atma jnana nishtha is there. Therefore, sarva karma sannyasa purvakat dharma. From uh, that dharma, which is atma jnana nishtha rupa, before which sannyasa should have taken place. Only a sannyasi really has uh, qualification for atma jnana nishtha. 
So this will be what? This is also in Samana Dekarana with that. So Purvakat. And I said this is Bhavri. Purvakat. So Sarva Karma, karma Sanyasa Purva. Sarva is all. Karma is all the karmas. Sanyasa. Renunciation. Purva. Purva is what? Before. So that uh, which has Sanyasa before it. And Sanyasa from what? From all, all karma. All karma. Therefore, Purva, Purva Yasmat, Purva will govern Panchami, so directional, so Dik Panchami, Dik Yoga Panchami, so this will be Panchami. Pur, Purva Yasmat, Sanyasa Purva Yasmat, so Sanyasa is first case, Sanyasa is Purva Yasmat, Yasmat Dharmat, so Yasmat Atma Jnana Nishtha Rupa Dharmat, Sanyasa Purva Bhavati, so uh, Panchami here. Panchami connection within Purva and the Anyapada Dharma. Sanyasa is first case. Sanyasa from what? So from what? Uh, uh, nyasaha. Sanyasa. Samyak Nyasaha. Just a second. Sarvaka. Uh, Sarvaka. Uh, Shashti only. You will have to take Shashti. Karmanam Sanyasa is Karma Sanyasa. So this will be Shashti. And Shashti. Karma. Karma and Sarva are all karma. Therefore, they are in Samana Dikarana. So, this will be either you write in one Vigra Vakya if you like, right? Then you will have to write uh, Sarvesham Karmanam Sanyasaha Purvaha Yasma. So, either you write that way. So, Sarvesham Karmanam Sanyasaha Purvaha Yasma. Either so Sanyasa is Purva. Therefore, sannyasa is in first case, purva is in first case. Sarma, sannyasa is purva before what? So, compared to uh, dharma. So, this is before. Compared to atma jnana nishtha rupa dharma, it is before. Therefore, panchami, directional. And then, in one vigravakya, you can write as 661-15 bahuri. So, sarvesham karmana sannyasa purva, uh, purva yasmat. Yasmat dharmat. Saha dharma and then tasmat. I prefer it this way because you can do it in one vigra vakya. If you have to, uh, in bahuri you can do it in one vigra vakya. Bahuri and dandva you can have uh, many pa padas in a single vigra vakya. In bahuri you have sutra itself. So aneka manya padarthe. But otherwise you will have to say karma dharaya here. So sarvani karmani, sarva karmani. And then Sarva Karmanam Sanyasa Shashti Tatpurusha Sarva Karmanam Sanyasa. Then Sarva Karma Sanyasa Sarva Karma Sanyasa Purvaha Yasmat Dharmat Saha Dharmaha Sarva Karma Sanyasa Purvaka Purvakaha Dharma. And then Tasmat Sarva Karma Sanyasa Purvakat. I hope this is clear. I am not writing everything, but I hope uh, you all understand this now. So this sentence is done. Tatha imam eva gitartham dharmam uddishya bhagavata eva uktam. So we will take this part. Last time we were taking longer sentences, a little difficult to understand. So tatha, tatha, tatha imam eva and so, so or we can say tatha similarly. Imam. Imam is second case. Imam eva Gita Artham. Gita Artham. Dharmam Uddishya. Dharmam Uddishya. Uddishya. Levanta. Uddishya. Ut plus. Dish Dhatu. Plus. Twa. It will take Twa. So people still have trouble understanding this Uddishya. It's an avyaya. How do you get it? Here you add twa. And when dish plus twa, you would have got some word. But utpurvaka dish will make this twa to be replaced by lyap. Same meaning. What is the meaning for twa? Same meaning will apply to lyap. Meaning does not change. It's the same twa pratya which has been replaced by lyap. So having uh, uddishya, uh, uddishya would be uh, having kept that 
in in mind or having focus there unto that so tatha eva tatha imam eva gitartham dharmam so uh, having focus on that dharma itself or sorry not that this dharma itself having focus on this dharma itself which is gitartha dharma gitartha we seen artham so uh, artham here is gitaya artham you can say gitaya artha gitartha and then gitartham dharma so that dharma of gita finally it will be uh, which is the uh, meaning or you can hear artha you can say purpose also so purpose of gita gita yah artha the purpose of gita keeping that uh, dharma which is the purpose of gita content of gita in mind bhagavata eva uktam said by bhagwan himself bhagavata bhagavata eva uktam it is said by bhagwan himself what is said so uktam first case bhagavata so ta whenever you see ta ta pratyanta this is vach plus ta so kit pratya takes some causes samprasaranam here samprasaranam is yan becomes in the uh, ik yan becomes ik so vakara becomes ukara so uktam it will become uktam this will become uch and then uktam bhagavata eva said by whom stated by whom so it it becomes uh, the karta takes tritiya there so bhagavata eva uktam so that uh, similarly this very idea uh, focusing on this very idea or this very dharma of gita or contained in the gita or which is the purpose of the gita keeping that in mind itself it has been said by bhagwan what has been said by bhagwan and where anugita su so anugita su uktam anugita su uh, feminine saptami bahuvachana you can see this su pratya sup sup pratya anugita su has been said in anugita anugita is in one part of mahabharata gita is in one part anugita is after after mahabharata war is over uh, strangely arjuna says that i have forgotten everything that you have taught me in the battlefield in gita and he says why don't you teach me now that the war is over we are in a relaxed environment so why don't you teach me again and then bhagwan says that i also forgot and what i have taught you there so he says that i'll teach you same ideas i'll can't teach you exactly what what i taught you similar ideas i'll teach you in a different way so that's what i remember so th- that that is anugita so anugita su imam eva gitartham dharmam uddishya bhagavata uktam what ha- what was said by bhagwan sahi dharma ha superyapto brahmana padavedane iti iti uktam it has been said so in anugita by bhagwan keeping that so you can translate keeping that very dharma gitartha dharma keeping this sorry i always say that keeping in keeping this gitartha dharma in mind sahi sahi is that sahi dharma indeed that dharma he is evakar arthe that dharma superyapta you see su as the shushtu superyapta paritah not paritah pari plus a plus ta so you see su pari a plus ta ta pratya you see so superyapta that dharma is superyapta shushtu paryapta it is uh, very well uh, uh, capable very well capable on its own so superyapta is completely capable completely and very well capable that dharma is capable for what brahmana pada vedane so pada pada vedane for the attainment uh, in attainment so saptami pada vedana pada vedana in so that in the attainment of pada vedane brahmana pada vedane so if you do anvaya here you will get get 
अनुगीतासु अनुगीतासु सो यू हैव टू से सह सह ही धर्म सुपर्याप्त एंड ब्रह्मण ब्रह्मण पदवेदने ब्रह्मण पदवेदने इन दी अटेनमेंट ऑफ दी गोल सो पदवेदने वेद इज टू अटेन इन अटेन अटेनमेंट ऑफ दी गोल ऑफ व्हाट ऑफ ब्रह्म गोल ऑफ ब्रह्म मीन्स ब्रह्म राहो शिरव चष्टी ब्रह्म देर इज नो गोल ऑफ ब्रह्म ब्रह्म इट सेल्फ इज दी गोल सो ब्रह्मण पदवेदने सह ही धर्म विच धर्म विच हेज बीन सेड अर्लियर एज दिस आत्मज्ञान निष्ठ रूप एंड सर्वकर्म संन्यास पूर्वक दैट धर्म इज सुपर्याप्त इज वेरी वेल केपेबल फॉर वॉट टू अटेन दिस पदा ऑफ ब्रह्म ब्रह्म पदवेदने सुपर्याप्त यू कैन से ब्रह्मण राधर ब्रह्मण पदवेदने सह ही धर्म सुपर्याप्त एक्चुअली यूनिकोट इति इट शुड बी एक्जैक्टली बट आई एम डूइंग अन्वया हियर ऑल्सो फॉर अवर अंडरस्टैंडिंग इट वॉज दिस इज पैराफ्रेज वॉट हेज बीन सेड इज सेड हियर सह ही धर्म सुपर्याप्त ब्रह्मण पदवेदने इज बीन सेड इन अश्वेध पर्व सो देर इन महाभारत इन सम पर्व इट हेज बीन सेड इति अनुगीतासु इति अनुगीतासु भगवता एव उक्तम सो भगवता एव उक्तम दिस इज द कंस्ट्रक्ट एंड व्हाट इज दैट तथा तथा सो तथा यू कैन एड तथा सिमिलर इन कंटिन्युएशन विद द अर्लियर लाइन सो तथा ब्रह्मणे पदवेदने सह धर्म सुपर्याप्त इति अनुगीतासु भगवता एव उक्तम एंड व्हाट इज दैट इमम एव गीतार्थम तथा इमम एव गीतार्थम धर्म उद्दिश्य यू कैन एड ऑल दैट हियर इमम एव गीतार्थम धर्म उद्दिश्य यू कैन अनुगीतासु यू कैन एड हियर ऑल्सो अनुगीतासु इमम एव गीतार्थम धर्म उद्दिश्य भगवता एव उत्तम और यू कैन एड दैट हियर इट सेल्फ तथा इमम एव गीतार्थम धर्म उद्दिश्य ब्रह्मण पदवेदने सह धर्म सुपर्याप्त अनुगीतासु भगवता एव उत्तम इधर वे इट इज फाइन I'll keep it this way. Okay, tatre eva cha uktam. Any samasas here? Yeah, pada vedana. I said pada vedana. So pada se vedana is fine. So shasti, the shasti, attainment of attainment of the goal. Super yapta, shushtu par yapta. Need not uh, do much here. तत्रेव, तत्रेव एंड देयर इट सेल्फ इट हैज बीन सेड व्हाट हैज बीन सेड नएव धर्मी सो नईव नईव धर्मी नचा धर्मी नचैव ही शुभाशुभी दैट इज हाउ इट हैज बीन सेड इन इन अनुगीता इट सेल्फ सो लेट सी दिस पार्ट तत्र एंड देयर इट सेल्फ तस्मिन सप्तमी सप्तमी मीनिंग सो तत्र उत्तम एंड इट हेज बीन सेट देर इट सेल्फ बाय भगवान न एव न एव धर्मी धर्म से अस्ति धर्मी सो धर्मी न अधर्मी सो आई धर्म इज वॉट पुण्य दैट विच गेट्स पुण्य और पुण्य इट सेल्फ एंड अधर्म इज दैट विच इज पापा और दैट विच गेट्स पापा बोथ विज इट कैन बी सीन एंड आई वॉट डज इट मीन आई डो नॉट हैव एनी धर्म अधर्म और अधर्म न धर्मी न अधर्मी न चॉरी न ही शुभाशुभी सो आई डोंट हैव एनी धर्म सो आई डोंट हैव पुण्य कर्म आई डोंट हैव पाप कर्म एंड Not even shubha shubhi. Shubha shubhi is a samasa, samasa, and then 
तद्दित सो शुभं च अशुभं च शुभाशुभम एंड देन और शुभाशुभो बोथ शुड बी पॉसिबल ऑपोजिट्स कैन टेक समाहर द्वंद्व आल्सो और इतर इतर द्वंद्व ऑप्शनली आई थिंक एंड देन शुभाशुभो और शुभाशुभो अस्य अस्ति इति शुभाशुभि सो बट न न च शुभाशुभि सो आई एम नॉट धर्मी आई एम नॉट अधर्मी आई एम हुएवर whoever is the karta here in the you have to see contextually whether it is uh, said to be sa sa or aham naeva dharmi atma basically atma you can say atma naeva dharmi na cha dharmi na cha eva hi shubha shubhi there is no karma whether it is punya karma or papa karma or karma phala punya phala or papa phala is there therefore this also shubha shubhi api api na bhavati you can say or asmi also you can say based on whatever is the context yasyad ekasane leena stushnim kinchid achintayan iti jnana sanyas lakshanam iti cha so all these four things have been said in the anugita iti and jnanam cha jnanam sanyas lakshanam iti cha yaha स्यात एकासने स्यात वन हु वुड बी वुड बी सो विधिलिंग स्यात एकासने सप्तमी एक वचन लीन लीन तूष्णी किंचित अचिंतयन इति सो एकासने लीन तूष्णी वुड बी एन अव्यय किंचित इज ऑल्सो एन अव्यय किंचित कैन बी किंचित अचिंतन सो विदउट थिंकिंग विदउट थिंकिंग अचिंतन शत्रंत अचिंतन एंड देन न चिंतन सो नंजतत्पुरुष नॉट थिंकिंग वन हुड बी हु वुड बी नॉट थिंकिंग नॉट थिंकिंग वॉट देर फोर किंचित हियर नॉट थिंकिंग एनीथिंग समथिंग किंचित यू कैन यू कैन एनीथिंग सो यह सियात वन हुड वन हु वुड बी वन हु वुड बी would be what leenah would be leenah leenah is so leenah is actually uh, how do i say leenah let me check the dhatvarta exact leenah what can i bring in the meaning as i hope you get the idea meaning one who is uh, it's a resolved um, one who remains uh, Silently resolved or sitting silently, Lena. So basically, this shows mana laya. Uh, so it indicates laya of the mind. The uh, idea would be samadhi here, really, but we can say uh, one with a resolved mind. So one who resolved, one with a resolved mind in. So this is adhikarana saptami ekasani in. A, सिंगल आसना इन अ सिंगल पोज इन अ सिंगल पोज और सिंगल प्लेस आल्सो यू कैन से अधिकरण इट कैन बी अधिकरण और सिंगल स्टेट इट कैन बी स्टेट इफ यू टेक भावे सो आसना इज अ भावे व्युत्पत्ति ल्युट और अधिकरण व्युत्पत्ति सिंगल स्टेट और इन अ सिंगल इट कैन बी तृतीय आल्सो इन अ इन अ सिंगल पोजिशन so you can say in a position single state position or pose so position is a pose if you take yoga meaning or it can be in the asana adhikarana adhikarana vyutpatti where it is sitting in a single uh, so a posture or state so i hierarchy wise i would say state is a better meaning or you say pose so bhave arthe or you take tritiya karana or you take adhikarana where asana would be meaning asana you sit on the asana so uh, seat you can say seat 
so one who would be in a single state pose seat with a resolved mind silently without thinking anything so not thinking anything which is which is kind of explaining the meaning of what this ekasana is so eka so uh, ekasana can be uh, it is karma dharya uh, single asana ekam asanam ekasanam and tasmin ekasane ekasane yah so you do the anvaya here generally saptami you should use in the beginning ekasane yah kinchit or you can say kinchit kinchit for easy understanding otherwise yah and uh, you can say yah kinchit achintayan or you can say kinchit achintayan yah tushnim syat so yah ekasane leena tushnim leena syat so tushnim would be adverbial silently resolved and it will go with the verb which is uh, no the meaning of the dhatu here in leena tushnim leena syat one who would be silently resolved into uh, into uh, a single state without thinking anything syat it has been said iti so this is only a quotation from that particular uh, grantha so there may be a, uh, additional uh, this thing also in the shloka there can be additional uh, meaning also but we are taking whatever has been quoted see the uh, the art of uh, commenting for bhashyakara you see at many places he takes only that part of the text which is relevant to our uh, context so contextually he will pick a word or a set of words or a pada or a half of a shloka very rarely will he uh, quote the entire mantra or uh, a lot of of the shloka he will quote only part of the mantra or shloka which is relevant to our context so what is relevant here he is establishing what he has said here tat sarva karma tatcha sarva karma karma sanyasa purvakat atmajnana nishta rupa dharmat bhavati what is that this prayojana which he is establishing of gita which is moksha which is atyanta uparama lakshana that happens only after sarva karma sanyasa purva dharma and due to that dharma which is preceded by sanyasa and that he is establishing by quotations by saying that very idea is quoted in anugita also by bhagwan and that's how i am bringing that meaning here as the complete uh, purpose of gita in brief so he is saying he has already quoted see uh, this this pada vedane brahma brahmana pada vedane sahi dharma suparyapta there you will look at that uh, the reference given this dharma which will be mentioned in anugita which is mentioned in anugita will have similar meaning to this dharma sarva karma sanyasa purvaka dharma and he, then he is saying it has also been said i am not dharmi adharmi atma which is me does not have any shubha shubha therefore does not have a dharma adharma means what no karma exists dharma and adharma exists for a person who is involved in karma because it is that vaidika dharma is uh, the karma which has been prescribed that is vaidika dharma that which has been prohibited is vaidika adharma and shubha shubha are their respective results so when bhagwan says in anugita nacheva dharmi nacha dharmi nacheva hi shubha shubhi that means it's sarva karma sanyasa it cannot mean anything else so he established that sarva karma sanyasa is given in anugita also further he says ekasane leena which is said here as what earlier it has been said atmajnana nishtha rupa so he is showing atmajnana nishtha also has been quoted in so sarva karma sanyasa has been mentioned in anugita atmajnana nishtha is mentioned in anugita and the dharma which is said to be uh, the uh, the renunciation which is 
earlier he had quoted the uh, pravritti and nivritti dharma so this dharma is nivritti dharma and those very ideas are mentioned in anugita at the end of mahabharata as well and further he said jnana sanyasa lakshanam iti cha and also iti cha and also how it has been mentioned jnanam sanyasa lakshanam jnanam jnana is that which is characterized by sanyasa so this is bahuri sanyasa sanyasa lakshana yasya jnanasya tad jnanam sanyasa lakshanam jnanam so this is bahuri iha api cha ante ukta arjuna and he says not only there even in gita in the end in this very bhagavad gita itself shrimad bhagavad gita itself it is mentioned what is mentioned iha api here also iha api and here also iha api cha ante in the end it has been mentioned end of the gita so 1866 what has been mentioned ante this is actually uh, this is where really the teaching almost ends 1866 is the teaching as ended there arjunaya uktam arjunaya to arjuna it has been said what has been said sarva dharman parityajya mam ekam mam ekam sharanam vraja vraja is the verb madhyam purusha ekvachana so gatau so uh, sharanam vraja you uh, take or you attain what refuge so therefore sharanam take refuge unto me so you take sharanam vraja you will translate together as you take refuge so sharana is uh, karma sharanam ekam maam ekam only only to unto me maam ekam so only me and there only me lot of people uh, interpret this dwaitis interpret this dwaitis and uh, vishishta dwaitins interpret this as krishna as the person but it is not krishna as a person it is atma take refuge unto atma giving up everything all karma so parityajya parita parita completely giving up tejya having given up lyabanta pari plus pari plus tej plus Yep. Yep is replacement for twa because pari is the upasarga. Sarva dharma and karma for having given up completely giving up having given up what? Sarva dharma all dharmas. So all dharmas is karma dharya. So sarvani dharmani and then uh, sorry sarvaha dharmaha. No, it is not karma. So it is dharma which is pulling up. So sarvaha dharmaha. Sarva dharma ha, tan sarva dharma ha, parityajya, maam ekam sharanam raja, may you take refuge unto me, iti, it has been said. So what is he establishing here? Jnana nishtha also, because atma nishtha, parityajya, sharanam raja, maam ekam sharanam raja is uh, atma nishtha, there atma nishtha and sarva dharma and parityajya shows renunciation, so nivritti lakshana dharma. abhyude artho api yah pravrutti lakshana dharma so so far he has talked about the second type of dharma which is sanyasa lakshana as in nivritti marga but there is pravrutti marga also which has been stated earlier dvedohi dharma so here he talks about the earlier uh, in the earlier part of life what one follows and if one is or one is unable to take sanyasa then abhyude artha abhyude artha we have seen abhyude artha is worldly benefits so abhyudaya artha api ya dharma so this is bahuri abhyudaya artha yasya dharmasya sah dharma abhyudaya artha so that dharma which has abhyudaya meaning worldly good as its goal as its purpose artha that that dharma also yah dharma ha so what is that for that is also for what pravritti lakshana pravritti hi lakshana yasya dharmasya sa dharma pravritti lakshana so that dharma which is characterized by or which has characteristic of so when you say which has characteristic means what which is characterized so has characteristic means that which is characterized 
सो कैरेक्टराइज बाय प्रवृत्ति एंगेजमेंट एंगेजमेंट इनटू धर्म इनटू कर्म वैदिक कर्म दैट धर्म आल्सो इज फॉर व्हाट व्हाट पर्पस वर्णन आश्रमांच आश्रमांच उद्दिश्य सो हैविंग केप्ट इन माइंड केप्ट इन माइंड व्हाट आश्रमस एंड वर्णस वर्णाश्रम धर्म सो वर्णाश्रम धर्म इज कीपिंग इन माइंड वर्ण एंड आश्रम वेरियस वर्णस चातुर्वर्ण एंड देन वेरियस आश्रम आल्सो स्टेजेस ऑफ लाइफ सो उद्दिश्य हैविंग केप्ट दैट इन माइंड विहिता प्रिस्क्राइब सो दैट इज आल्सो प्रिस्क्राइब्ड विथ व्हाट उद्दिश्य जबंता यू सीन दिस अर्लियर सो उत्पूर्वक दिश धातु and then twa is replaced by lyap karma karma is what karma for uddishya having taken what into account these ashramas and varnas considering that having considered this dharma has been prescribed vihita so abhyudaya arthah api yah pravrutti lakshana lakshana dharma ha vihita ha sah आश्रमांच उद्देश्य भेत एंड स देवादि स्थान प्राप्ति हेतुरपी सन ईश्वर अर्पण बुद्धिया अनुष्ठीयम सत्त शुद्ध ये भवती दैट धर्म ऑल्सो विच इज द गोल ऑफ दी प्रवृत्ति लक्षण धर्म इज ऑल्सो वॉट इट इज मोक्षा ओनली हाउ सो अनुष्ठीयम सत्वशुद्ध ये भवती देवादि स्थान प्राप्ति हेतु सो इवन दैट धर्म विच इज रियली Uh, which is so let's do padacheda i'll explain this sa so vita prescribed prescribed for what so pres- that is prescribed but in karma kanda for those who have kama uh, kama as in those who have focus as dharma artha kama dharma artha kama and moksha are four purusharthas the first three purusharthas are purusharthas are laukika although they they are laukika for other world also for attainment of other world so there it is said devadi sthanam prapti hetu api san even being sa dharma sthan as plus this is as plus shatru dhatu as plus shatru shatru pratya so you will get san being even being that dharma even though being even though being so that dharma which dharma this abhidhartha dharma which for worldly good even though being devadi dev adi dev adi sthana prapti hetu devadi i have already said when you say adi pada devadaya so devadaya so this devadi is bahuri and hetu hetu api san so that dharma is hetu that dharma is cause therefore it is tatpurusha that dharma is cause so tatpurusha what kind of tatpurusha prapti hetu prapti and hetu it is the cause dharma is cause for what so therefore with that akanksha kasse hetu shashti so you will get shashti prapte he hetu it is the cause for attainment attainment of what sthana so therefore here also you will have shashti so again another shashti shashti tatpurusha prapte hetu prapti hetu sthanasya prapti hetu sthana prapti hetu so sthanasya prapti hetu bhavati shashti tatpurusha and devadi already i have said bhauri devah adihi yesham te devadayah and tesham sthanam sthanam is lyudanta sta plus lyut sthana is uh, adhikarana uh, adhikarane lyut so sthana or you can take bhave lyut as in state of deva so devadi state or you can say devadi loka also sthana can be loka as adhikarana vitpatti or this status status of devadi so one becomes deva if you do good karma you will get deva janma so therefore that dharma which is abhidaya artha sa dharma api what varnanashramanche uddishye ha vihita dharma ha 
सह देवादिस्थान प्राप्ति हेतु अपनी सन इवन दो इट इज इट इज द कॉज फॉर अटेनमेंट ऑफ द स्टेट ऑफ देवा एक्सेट्रा एंड बाय एक्सेट्रा यू कैन टेक अदर गुड जन्म ऑल्सो देव मनुष्य और धनी वॉट एवर वन वॉन्ट्स सो दैट कैंड ऑफ धर्म हेतु जन्म हेतु इवन इफ इट इज स्थान इज जन्म जन्म और लोक हाउ एवर यू टेक इट इट इज फॉर दैट इवन इफ इट इज फॉर दैट इट इज द कॉज फॉर दैट द रियल पर्पज इज नॉट दैट इट बिकम्स द कॉज फॉर दैट ओनली वेन देर इज कर्तृत्व भावा देर बाय भोक्तृत्व इज इम्पोज अपॉन द पर्सन इम्पोज अपॉन द जीवात्मा एंड देर बाय फ्रॉम वन यूनि टू अनदर यूनि वन कीप्स ऑन ट्रांसमाइग्रेटिंग संसर थी बट इफ ईश्वर अर्पण बुद्धि अनुष्ठीयम धर्म दैट धर्म इवन दो इट इज द कॉज फॉर एटेनमेंट ऑफ देवादिस्थान स्टील and it is prescribed keeping in the mind that dharma which is prescribed in keeping in mind is varna bheda ashrama bheda and it is pravritti lakshana you have to being born in a particular varna and ashrama uh, being born in a particular varna and being in a particular ashrama there has to be some pravritti lakshana dharma which has been prescribed keeping in mind these it has been given the birth itself is given based on earlier karma that we have done thereby we have got this birth and that can be devadisthana also in the next birth or now itself which is abhyudayarth dharma it is for worldly good here and hereafter even if it is so still what if that dharma is followed ishvar ishvara arpana buddhya anushtiyamana practice that dharma if practiced practice how with the with the buddhi with the buddhi will say attitude with the attitude of ishvara arpana so of offering offering unto the lord so if it is practiced with the attitude of offering unto the lord so ishvara arpana buddhi with the attitude so it's a tatpurusha tatpurusha ishvara arpana buddhi सो ईश्वरे अर्पण ईश्वर अर्पण एंड लुडंता सो अर्पण बुद्धि सो वी कैन से ईश्वरे अर्पण बुद्धि ईश्वरे अर्पण ईश्वराय अर्थ ईश्वराय अर्पण यू कांट से अर्पण बिकॉज यू कांट पुट एज समास देर फॉर आई एम सी ईश्वरे अर्पण For Ishvara, it is offered unto Ishvara, Ishvara Arpanam, Ishvare Arpanam, Ishvara Arpanam, and then Ishvara Arpanam, Ishvara Arpanam. This karma that I am doing, dharma, Ishvara Arpanam, iti buddhi, the buddh attitude that all this is for Ishvara. I am doing everything for Ishvara because it has been prescribed by Ishvara. I am doing it. it will please the lord and i do it with that that attitude without expecting anything then what happens is that you are no longer a karta you don't have to undergo bhoga therefore anushtiyamana what will happen sattva shuddhaye bhavati sattva shuddhaye bhavati saptami ek vachana it is for uh, sorry not saptami chaturthi ek vachana shuddhi shuddhi like haraye Uh, or mataye so sattva shuddha is what sattva is antakarana because it is uh, product of uh, sattva therefore it is called as sattva guna sattva guna pradhana or sattva guna it is a product of sattva guna therefore it is called as uh, sattva shuddhi uh, it is called as sattva antakarana sattva and shuddhi of antakarana so shashti tatpurusha for the shuddhi of sattva सत्वस्य शुद्धि सत्वस्य शुद्धि सत्व सत्वस्य इज इक्वल टू अंतकरणस्य करणस्य अंतकरणस्य शुद्धि सॉल से शुद्धये इट्सल शुद्धये तस्मै अंतकरण शुद्धये भवति सो दैट धर्म प्रवृत्ति लक्षण धर्म If you do it with the sankalpa that I want devadi padvi, then uh, if uh, it is sufficient, then it will lead to a devadi sthana prapti. 
it it becomes that dharma becomes hetu for prapti of uh, devadi sthana otherwise if it is done with ishwararpana buddhi with the attitude of offering unto the lord then anushtiyamane practice in that manner then sattva shuddha ye bhavati sattva shuddha ye bhavati means it will give rise to sattva shuddhi antakarana shuddhi thereby all karma kanda is for sattva shuddhi then one goes towards uh, jnana kanda and uh, bhavati bhavati phala bhi sandhi varjita so phala bhi sandhi varjita ha bhavati so bhavati you can remove the full stop here and phala bhi phala abhisandhi varjita varjita dharma this dharma which is now varjita varjita means what bereft it is bereft bereft of what so therefore shashti tat purusha varjita and ta sitanta tanta is uh, uh, usually tat purusha only you will get tat purusha so bereft of what so shashti tat purusha abhisandhi abhisandhi na so uh, this will be not shashti varjita so when you see ta tanta then generally you will see tritiya in the earlier pada it is bereft so bereft of what so although it is bereft of what uh, uh, in uh, in um, sanskrita in sanskritam it will be tritiya here so although we say of in english we will say of but abhisandhina varjita abhisandhi is a pullinga it is not uh, strilinga it is pullinga it is ki pratyanta like samadhi samadhi is also pullinga in sanskrit in uh, in hindi it is feminine but here abhisandhina varjita abhisandhina varjita abhisandhi varjita is bereft of uh, bereft of abhisandhi abhisandhi of what phala so abhisandhi is association you can say association with phala it it is bereft of association with phala so uh, association of phala so phala this will be phala uh, naam phala naam phala naam abhisandhi phala abhisandhi and abhisandhi na varjita it is bereft of association with results results of what karma phala phala is karma so if you have no kartrutva the phala cannot accrue to you thereby one becomes sattva suddha so shuddha sattvasya one uh, the with sattva shuddhi one becomes shuddha sattva so this is a person shuddha sattvasya cha jnana nishtha yogyata prapti dwarana jnanotpatti hetutvena cha nishreyasa hetutvam api pratipadyate pratipadyate here do you see anything in first case we will continue this in uh, next class but शुद्ध सत्व से च निष्ठा योग्यता प्राप्ति द्वारा ना ज्ञानोत्पत्ति हेतु त्वेन च निश्रेष हेतु तो भी प्रतिपद्य थे। You don't see any first case here. The first case has to be brought in from the earlier sentence where it is talked about धर्म। All this अभी संदिना वर्जिता, फला भी संदिता हा, संदी वर्जिता हा धर्म हा। धर्म हा सत्व शुद्ध ये भवति, फला भी संदी वर्जिता हा भवति। दैट धर्म अनुष्ठीयमान ईश्वरापण बुद्धि अनुष्ठीय धर्म शुद्ध सत्व से पुरुष से और साधक से मुमुक्षो ज्ञान निष्ठा योग्यता प्राप्ति द्वारा ज्ञानोत्पत्ति हेतु निश्रेस हेतु प्रतिपद्य है अटेन्स प्रतिपद्य है दैट धर्म ऑलसो अटेन्स अटेन्स वॉट निश्रेस हेतु अटेन्स दि स्टेटस ऑफ बीइंग दि कॉज For moksha, how that dharma jnana patti hetu tvena as becoming the, as the as the cause of uh, uh, as the cause of uh, as the cause of uh, producing the producing jnana because without sattva shuddhi without antakaran shuddha chitta it cannot give rise to so there cannot be jnana jnana can take place only in a pure mind therefore 
that dharma which is practiced with Ishwara Arpana Buddhi, which is called as Karma Yoga, that becomes the cause for, as the cause for rise of Jnana, Utpatti, so not producing, as the cause of rise of Jnana, that uh, karma also, dharma also, which is uh, Karma Yoga, that karma, karma Yoga dharma also becomes the cause for Moksha, attains the cause of uh, Moksha. Status of, it is the status of being the cause of moksha, how? As being the cause for rise of jnana. And then, how? Through the means of dwara, through the means of prapti, attainment of yogyata. Uh, being fit, atten, to the atten, through the means of attainment of fitness, yogyata, fitness of Fitness for Nishtha in Jnana. Finally, Jnana Nishtha is what gives Moksha. So, as the cause of rise of knowledge and how through this Jnana Nishtha Yogyata Prapti, that Shuddha Sattva Sicha uh, for a Shuddha Sattva. Shuddha Sattva here would be a person. So, therefore, it is Bahuri. Sattva is Manaha Antakkarana and Shuddha Manaha Yasya. Shuddha Sattva or antakkarana yasya, shuddha antakkaranam yasya, sattvaha or sattvam atva antakkaranam yasya, saha shuddha sattvaha pullinga and then tasya shuddha sattvasya purushasya sadakasya mumukshohova. Okay, so let's stop here, we'll continue in the next part. Any questions? No questions? Okay. Okay. For now. We'll do. Is the pace okay? I got a feedback that last uh, last time the pace was a little more. I've tried to go a little slow today. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, I'll see you in the next part. Namaste. Namaste.